you are welcome back to my channel please this diagram just manage it this is a circle okay we uh, and this square is inscribed inside this circle and we have another smaller circle inscribed inside this square now the question says that if the shaded area is 20 okay that is the area of the shaded portion is 20 units squared we are asked to find x and this x happens to be the area of the smaller circle all right so first like i always say let us read the mind of the examiner for the fact that the examiner gave us the area of the shaded portion shows that this area is going to play a vital role for us to get the value of x so first of all the area of the shaded portion is equal to what if we intend to get the area of the shaded portion what is the formula that we are supposed to use okay now area of the shaded portion before I said that, let us assign the radius of the shaded portion, the radius of the bigger circle, sorry. Now, if x is the radius of the smaller circle, now from here to here is going to give us the radius of the bigger circle, right? This bigger circle, its radius is r. So we say let r be equal to radius of the bigger circle okay so r is the radius of the bigger circle now for us to get the area of the shaded portion okay area of the shaded portion is equal to area of the big circle right it will be equal to area of the big circle minus area of the square right okay so for us to get the area of the shaded portion which is what we are giving it should be area of this big circle minus the area of the square so the first thing is to get the formulas for these two areas now area of a circle is equal to okay let me now repeat this just know that the first thing i'm going to write is that of the big circle and the other one is that of the small circle so the shaded area is equal to now area of the big circle now is what pi r squared remember that r is the radius of the bigger circle now minus area of the square remember that the area of a square is length squared length squared now we have not actually defined our length okay so the length of the circle of the square remember that from here to here is x that means from here to here is also x this side is also x right yes it's also equal to the radius of the small circle all right if this place is x that means from here to here should be x and from here to here should be x as well here should also be x all right so it means that the length of this square is 2x okay x plus x which is 2x so that means that if we say length squared but l let me write it here the length of this particular square is equal to 2x okay all right so we can now write this as area of the shaded portion which is 20 is equal to pi multiplied by r squared multiplied by then the length is 2x right 2x squared so if we solve this further we have pi r squared minus 2 squared we give us 4 and x squared we give us x squared but you notice that with this we have two variables here we have the radius of the bigger circle and we have the radius of the smaller circle so we cannot get whatever we are looking for here if we can't find one of these variables so let's go back to this diagram let's see what we can get as the value of our r in terms of x so that we can substitute it here 
to get the value of our x if this is the first time you are seeing us please click the subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos all right we upload our videos every day turn in at your convenience there must be something for you to watch by the spiritual grace of god and then give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video thank you so permit me to erase everything here and then let's concentrate on this diagram so the important thing we have formed here the important equation we formed here is that 20 is equal to pi r squared minus 4 x squared so i'm going to erase everything okay now back to what we are doing like i said let's get r in terms of x so if we draw out this triangle let's call this this is center o and this is a b okay so triangle a o b is what right angle triangle all right so let's draw it out we have x we have x please this is not drawn to scale and this is our r okay now this is 90 degrees right why did i say so remember that this line drawn from the center to the circumference of this circle is our radius right the radius of the smaller circle which is this x and whenever a straight line that touches a circle at just one point is called a tangent so this line here is a tangent let me draw out and show you and let me explain what i'm trying to do here if this is the center of a circle and you have a tangent that is a line that touches this circle externally at one point if you draw your radius okay from the center to that point of contact between the tangent and the circle we are going to form a right angle so that is exactly why i can confidently say that this place is right angle that is where this right angle is coming from okay so let's continue now by pythagorean theorem by pythagorean theorem we can see that r squared is equal to x squared plus x squared right r squared is equal to 2x squared so we can get our r or we can leave it like that yes since what we want to substitute into this place is r squared so we have r squared to be equal to x squared so let's now copy this out remember recall that 20 is equal to pi r squared minus 4 x squared so we can write 20 is equal to pi 2x squared that is our r squared is 2x squared minus 4x squared okay let me tell you to clean everything clean everything so now we have 20 is equal to pi 2 pi x squared 2 pi x squared minus 4 x squared now let's factorize okay so we have 20 is equal to let's factorize x squared x squared bracket 2 pi x squared divided by x squared we give us 2 pi minus 4x squared divided by x squared will give us 4. So we have 20. Okay, let's divide both sides. Since we are looking for the value of x, let's divide both sides of this equation by 2 pi minus 4. So we have 20 divided by 2 pi minus 4 is equal to x squared divided by 2 pi minus 4. So x squared multiplied by 2 pi minus 4 divided by 2 pi minus 4 all right now this you cancel this so we have that x squared 
is equal to 20 divided by 2 pi minus 4. All right. So now we have x squared is equal to now 20 divided by 2 pi minus 4 will give us what? Let me get my calculator. Okay, I'm back. So let's use this as my calculator. Now we want to solve 2 pi minus 4, okay? Because I don't want to leave my answer in terms of pi. So we have 2 pi minus 4. 2 times pi minus 4. This will give us 2.2832, approximately 2.2832. So, we have that x squared is equal to, now let's do 20 divided by what we just got, okay? Have you given us a term? So, if not, please do that. 20 divided by 2.2. 832 we have approximately 8.7596 okay now we take square root square root of both sides so we have square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 8.7596 so this we remove this and we have x is equal to, let's get the approximate value of our x. So it's going to be square root of 8.7596, which is approximately, approximately 2.96. Units okay, so that is x, which is what we are asked to find. Thanks so much for watching. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and then see us in our next video. Bye.